For lowering the trailer, you're going to want to pull off this pin on the tongue of the front of the trailer. Next, you'll want to go over to the axle and pull off the second pin. On the other side of the trailer, along the axle, you're going to want to pull off your third and final pin before lowering the trailer to the ground. After the trailer is lowered all the way to the ground, you may start to put down the ADA ramp. To put down the ADA ramp, you must first retrieve the keys to the locks of the ramp, which are located in the binder of the mechanical room. Once you have the key, you will need to unlock both locks on each side of the ramp. Once they are unlocked, remove the locks and gently ease the ADA ramp until it is flat on the ground. Your fresh water supply is on the top right here above the tire. It is your standard garden hose connection. Your electric is a 50 amp twist lock connection. This is located in the small white square on the bottom left of the trailer. Your trailer comes with an onboard generator and power cord that connects the generator to the trailer's 50 amp service. Next to your electrical connection, you will find access to the sight gauge for the waste tank. The key for the access panel is found in the binder of the mechanical room. The sight gauge allows you to see how full your waste tank is. The yellow part right here is your clean out that can be connected to a pumper truck. Going towards the generator, if you are using an onboard generator, make sure to remove the two sight panels on the generator box to allow proper air supply and ventilation. In general, the battery charging switch will be off until the battery needs to be recharged. Once it needs to be recharged, simply switch the battery charging switch to on and leave it turned on for 24 hours before turning it back to off. You will need to make sure the trailer is plugged into electricity when recharging. Here is your circuit breaker box. Each switch is configured accordingly to the labels above. All plumbing lines should be turned on with the exception of the middle one which should be labeled winterize or antifreeze only which can be kept off. All keys are labeled and stored in the binder which is located within the mechanical room. When your trailer is ready to be lowered you can simply use the wireless remote or the yellow one that plugs right into the hydraulic pump to raise and lower the trailer. The thermostat for the air conditioning is found in the ADA room.